Hi everybody, today we will talk about how to use the fresh chat for the beginners. So let's just begin. Okay, so the fresh chat is actually the product of the fresh works. Okay, so the fresh chat is basically AI powered boards in the live chat across every messaging channel. Okay, so how can we use that? We can actually use it uh, just by starting our free trial. All right. Okay, so we will actually have the free trial of the fresh chat. So you can even log in if you have already created an account. So I have already created an account. So I will just simply log in and we will be inside the dashboard of fresh chat. All right. So let's just jump into the dashboard of our fresh chat. Okay. So this is the dashboard of our fresh chat and we are actually inside the CRM dashboard. As you can see here that we have the chat dashboard, phone dashboard, analytics and the marketing dashboard. In the chat dashboard, we have the two things, the overview and the agents and the overview we have the agents we have the statics of the agents team inbox speed of response slm metrics customer certification incoming conversations first response time resolution time and incoming conversions versus resolved conversions and we also have the conversion labels and the conversion sla so we also have the option of agents so let's just click on the agents option and in the agents, you will actually see the number of agent we have assigned in our account. And, and we would also see the number of assignment that we have assigned to our uh, agents. Okay. As you can see here, we have the team inbox and we have the list of our agents here. Okay. So now we will actually go into the phone dashboard. Okay. So in the phone dashboard, as you can see here, we have the live dashboard and we have the performance. Okay. So in the live dashboard, we have all incoming calls, global queue and we have the list of total calls incoming outgoing total missed incoming outgoing and abundant and voicemails and here we have the list of in queue and we have the list of in conversion and we have the list of available agents so in the performance we would actually look at uh, the statics of incoming calls and the outgoing calls and my recent calls and we can even add the to do items here and in the analytics Okay, so in the analytics, we have all kinds of reports. Okay, as you can see here, we have all reports. We have curated reports, private reports, shared reports and the owned reports. And we also have the trash button here. These are all curated report and these are actually generated by the system. You can consider these reports as the sample reports created by the system. Okay, so let's just click on a new report. And we can actually create a new report here. What I need to do, I just have to drag and drop the widget here uh, from here. Okay, so let's just click any widget here and we can even add the text. We can add the interactive filter. So, so I'm just messing around with the report here. And this is how we can actually create the report if we wanted to create. And this is actually the configuration of the report, uh, the layout, uh, the canvas size and display mode and grid setting so let's just discard this report here right now so let's just discard this and we also have the marketing dashboard so in the marketing dashboard we don't have the real data right now it is actually the simple report here okay in which we have the email overview we have the email engagement email engagement trend top links cleared and email opens by day email opens by week and etc all right so now we will actually explore the conversions inbox and in the conversion inbox, we actually have the two dummy or the simple chats here. You can actually open any one of these chats. Okay, so let's just open the Emma Thomason. All right, so as we can see here that we can even do the chats here. So you can just write down any message from here. All right, and you can send it from here. And you do have the canned response. Right now, we don't have any FAQ, but we will add FAQ later. Okay, so we also can attach a file here. Uh, you can attach an image here, you can have the meeting here and you can even have the emojis in the chat. And on the right side, we have the information about the client. Okay, we have the content info, we have the website info, we have the conversation properties. And as you can see here, we have all these properties here. So let's just go inside the customer journeys. So in the customer journeys, we have the playbook categories. Okay, we have the track orders, we have the after sales support, we have the reach out proactively, we have asked for feedbacks. Okay, you can even use these journey templates or you can even create a journey from the scratch. Okay, so now we'll actually go into the FAQs. In the FAQs, as you can see that we have the simple FAQs right now, but if you want to add your own FAQ, you can actually click on the add FAQ. And you can create your FAQ here. So let's just give it a title here. My first 
एफ ए क्यू दैट इज ब्ला ब्ला ओके सो दिस इज अवर एफ ए क्यू एंड वी कैन इवन फॉर मैट अवर टेक्सट हेयर ओके एज यू कैन सी हेयर वी कैन क्रिएट द ऑर्डर लिस्ट वी कैन क्रिएट द अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट एंड वी कैन हैव द फॉर मैट ऑफ द टेक्स इन टू द पैराग्राफ और द हेडिंग एंड वी कैन इवन डू द अलाइनमेंट वी कैन एड द लिंक वी कैन एड द इमेज वी कैन एड the video so we can do a lot of thing with the faqs here so let's just publish our first faq here okay so this is our first faq and you can even add the category here if you want to add a new category you can even do it from here all right so that is enough for the faqs and we also have the chat boards so let's just explore the chat boards here Okay, so as you can see here, we have a lot of the different chatbot templates. Okay, so we actually have the fifty-seven templates of the chatbot that you can use readily without doing anything, and you can even create your own chatbot here just by clicking on the new board. So we can even filter the chatbots here. Okay, by industry, so we can have the travel chatbot, we can have the PFSI chatbot, we can have the EdTech General Healthcare. logistic e-commerce delivery content and the telecom okay so let's just create our own chatbot here so i will actually click on the new chatbot and you have to give name to your chatbot my bot and the primary language of the chatbot would be the english and the channel of our chatbot would be the web conversations widget okay so let's just save this so this is where you can actually create your own chatbot and in the chatbot hello is actually the message that is sent by the user and this is our response and in the similar way we can also create a new dialog and we also create the response for that particular dialog okay but we won't be getting into the details of creating the chatbot here okay so in the chatbot as you can see here we have the flows we have the natural language we have the customize we have the conversations analyze and the setting Okay so now we actually go into the marketing automation so in the marketing automation we have the journey emails we have the whatsapp campaign and we have the sms campaign all right and in the analytics in the reports we have the analytics and we have the reports and in the settings we have the admin settings manage contact life cycle stages and manage left navbar chat meetings scan responses and chat files All right so now let's just explore the marketing automation here so i would go into the journey emails and we will actually explore marketing automations one by one okay so in the journey emails you can create the emails for specific movements in the customer journeys you can just create it by clicking on the create journey button so let's just go into the whatsapp campaign and in the similar way we can create the whatsapp campaign but right now our whatsapp is not actually connected with our app here and we also have the sms campaign you can even do the sms campaign automatically in the real time what would you need to do you can actually connect your sms service provider uh, just like the twelo or the gupchup accounts to create the sms campaign and now we will get into the analytics okay so in the analytics we actually have the same report so we will actually go into the reports here let's just see do we have anything new here So in the report we can see here we have the different analytics here we have the chat analytics we have the board analytics we have the board session consumption phone analytics phone metrics uh hourly reports automated reports and the historical reports all right and if you wanted to contact the team of the fresh there you can actually click here and you can talk with the product expert and schedule a product demo and you can also ask for the help here All right so this is it and that was a complete overthrow of the fresh chat app and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel